Hello, my Chem 116 students. Welcome to Chem 116, Survey of Chemistry. I'm Dr. Roshan Lamichani, and I'll be the instructor uh, for Chem 116 for Summer Season 2, 2022. So in this video, I will introduce myself and then uh, go through the syllabus so I can point out or highlight some of these important things that I want you to note down on the syllabus. Also, um, I think some of you might be familiar with Blackboard or eCampus, some of you might not. So I will quickly uh, run through that as well so that we all are on the same pace. All right. All right, so let me share my screen really quick. Uh, All right, so first of all, uh, once you get your home page, so you go to your eCampus. And your courses. And again, this is my instructor view. Yours might be slightly different, so the eCampus or Blackboard. My upcoming courses, I'm looking at my KM116. So when you click on your course on eCampus, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna have week one materials, syllabus, and so on. All right, so in this syllabus, like I said, I'm going to introduce myself and then focus more on the syllabus. I'm gonna click on the syllabus, on this link. And then here's your syllabus. All right, so first of all, really, let me really quickly introduce myself. I'm Dr. Roshan Lamichani. Uh, you can call me Dr. Roshan, Sun, Sunin, whatever you're comfortable with, or just Roshan. All right, I obtained my PhD from Indiana University, Bloomington, um, Indiana. I was at WB Morgantown as a postdoctorate scholar for a year. And right now I am an assistant professor of chemistry at Potomac State College, or WB Kaiser. And I've been teaching here for about two years. And then I have a 13 year old daughter. Her name is Chloe. And I have a nine year old cat. And her name is Kali. I hope you see the connections there. All right. So, in my free time, besides teaching chemistry, I love to hike, bike, uh, play soccer, tennis, um, and I run. I try to run a mile, mile and a half every day, um, as much as I possibly can. I hurt my kneecap last night when I was playing some indoor soccer in Cumberland, Maryland. So I hope it heals soon within a week or so, so I can get back to my uh, sports. All right, so I hope we'll have uh, have a blast with Kim in this uh, summer session too. Just give me a heads up that's, that this is a condensed course. So make sure you keep on track uh, with the course materials. Otherwise, uh, it is going to be very tough for you all because I do know some of you are working during the summer as you are taking this course. Right, for the syllabus, uh, this is my name. Uh, this is the email address and this is what you're gonna use if you have to send me an email and address any concern or anything, all right? So lectures, I will upload recorded video lectures uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, unless it is a holiday, and it will be uploaded to eCampus, meaning that if you go to your eCampus space, right? For example, let's say you wanted to watch the recorded video lectures for week one. Now you click on that, and this is what you're gonna see. The first two are the PowerPoint slides associated with the recorded video lectures, all right? And then this video, I have to upload it and it's gonna show up as a video lecture for 27 June syllabus. You're gonna watch this video and then for 27 June Monday, you're gonna watch something called Alex tutorial. And I'll talk about what is that in a little bit. And also you're gonna watch this video lecture for Monday 27 June part one, something called metacognition. So that will be your video lectures for 27 June Monday. 
all together, I think all these three will add up to about one hour, 30 minutes or something like that. Um, all right, so, and your office hours, this is how you're gonna get into my office hours. It's gonna be all virtual. So I'm gonna have an hour of hour Tuesday from 10 to 11 a.m. and Thursday from 2 to 3 p.m. And then I will be doing office hours via Zoom. Make sure you follow these steps. And if these times and days do not work for you, send me an email and then we can set up an appointment. These are some course prerequisites as to what you'll need for the, as part of your course material list, you will not need to purchase any textbook for this uh, course. If you want a textbook, there's a free PDF that can, that is downloadable at this website. And if you want off the local sprint, there are some other options, right? Now, however, you will need to purchase something called Alex, and I will talk about that in a little bit. I think, and it costs about 35 or 40 bucks a semester or something on that line. And if you do not have a calculator, make sure you get uh, a view by a calculator now for this course. So there are some course objectives and there are some expected learning outcomes. Take some time to go through them. All right, and this is how uh, your final letter grade will be decided. 92% uh, is an A and so on, 89% is a B and so on. If you're wondering as to what's going to happen if you get an 89.5% in this class. Uh, for that, what I usually do is I see how often has the student uh, come to my office hours, because I think that is that shows me that the student cares about uh, my course, right? Coming to office hours, asking questions. And if that person is coming to my office hours regularly, uh, that 89.5% will definitely be bumped to an A. Or let's say that person has been doing all his assignments on time, submitting all the assignments on time and so on, then that 89.5% will definitely be bumped to an A, all right? So to get that little grid or 9200% thing, this is how your overall course uh, grade will be calculated. You're gonna have, you are going to have three exams, exam one, two, and three. Each exam is worth 15%. Then you're gonna have a cumulative, make sure you note that word, cumulative. The final exam is cumulative and is worth 25% of your total grade. Then you have these two assignments, uh, which is a weekly assignment, something called Alex homework. And this is what I was talking about. You need to purchase uh, the code to get into my course on Alex. And then the knowledge checks, which will be given to you by eCampus or by Blackboard. And I'll talk more about like you add all these to total 100%. But right, exams talks about exam makeup policy in case you have to miss an exam or something along that line. And these are the exam schedule. So make sure you pencil all these into your calendar. Exam one, two, and three, you'll have 1.5 hours each for these three exams, whereas 2.5 hours for a final exam. These are the dates, all right? These exams, primitive exams one, two, and three are supposed to be 1.5 hours long. But having said that, for example, on July 8th, you'll have anywhere from 5 a.m. to 10 p.m. to complete this 1.5 hour exam. One. Again, I'm doing this because I do understand that some of you are working during the summer and this gives you more flexibility. Same thing with the final exam. All right, now for your homework, for your Alex online homework that I was talking about, which is worth 18% of the grade, the first thing you're gonna do as soon as you reach this part of the video, all right, you're gonna go here, you're gonna go to alex.com and then using the class code UPHSO slash VHNK, you're gonna join my class. Again, it costs about 35 or $40. Again, do keep in mind, you're, you do not have to purchase any textbook for this course. And this is the only uh, money that you have spent for this course. And whenever you go to this website and then you join my class, you will be given some topics, chemistry topics to complete. All right. Having said that, some of you might be familiar with Alex, some of you might not. Under week one, if you go to under week one, I do have a Alex tutorial that I strongly recommend that you watch if you are not familiar with it. All right. All right. And the due dates have been given to you. For Alex, I will not grant any extension. So if you look at this 
something that's bold. It says no extensions, extensions will be granted for online homework. That means your prerequisite due with the very first assignment for came on 16 will be due on June 29th. Your week one assignment will be due on July 5th and so on. All right, so that is worth 18% of your total grade. Our homework is worth 18%. There's something called knowledge checks on eCampus, which is worth 12%. It's called weekly knowledge checks. So you go to your eCampus and there is a folder titled knowledge check assignments. You click on this. All right. And then you click on knowledge check for week one. And here's some description about your knowledge check. So this assignment, you'll be given three attempts and eCampus will take the average score of your three attempts. All right. Now I'm gonna begin, and then you're gonna take these examples, all right? Now what you're gonna see is these knowledge check questions, they align with the PowerPoint slides or the video lectures that I'll be offering to eCampus. For example, this is for week one, right? So I go to my week one material. So these are my week one material, right? Chapter 10, week one materials. So if you scroll down, this is what I'll be talking about during week one. So intramolecular forces. So the video lecture will go through all these. And then your first knowledge check one, right here, which says list all types of intramolecular, intermolecular forces used in the condensed phases of each of the following. It's gonna align with your knowledge check question number one. Look at this. Question one, list all types of intermolecular forces used in the condensed phase for hydrogen sulfide. Now, if you look, go back to your PowerPoint slide, you'll answer for all these questions, but especially for hydrogen sulfide is what I mean. All right. Then the video lecture will teach you about light dissolves light concept. We'll talk about viscosity and your knowledge check question number two asks you, does ethanol or ethylene glycol in the previous slide have a lower viscosity and why. If you understood this PowerPoint slide and the video lecture associated with it, you will should be able to answer this knowledge check question number two, where it says ethylene glycol has a lower viscosity than ethanol, whether it's true or false. All right, and you answer these questions and you save and submit it and it will give you a score. For example, I'm just gonna randomly answer these questions. five of those, right? Then I'm gonna save and submit. And it tells me how, how much time did I use to submit it? When did I submit it? When is the due date and so on? I'm gonna press okay. And it tells me, oh, I scored one out of 12 points on my first attempt. And remember you have three attempts for this assignment. All right, so these are the due dates for your weekly knowledge fix. The first week one knowledge check will be due on June 30th, week two, July 7th, and so on. All right, and again, something that I do want to keep in mind, if this was a face-to-face -face class course, then attendance would have been mandatory, right? But since this is an asynchronous uh, recorded video remote course, all right? So it is really important that you watch the video that I upload to eCAPS. If you want to succeed in this course, you must watch the recorded video lectures. These are the topics that I will be covering for KM116. And these are some other important topics. And if you have something, for example, some of you might have data of concern, make sure you follow the what you have to do. Uh, and let me know ahead of time so I can plan accordingly and so on. And then some of the students might need some uh, accessibility services. So make sure you contact the necessary people on campus and they'll get back to me and then I will do what is necessary for my part. All right, so this takes care of the syllabus. All right, and uh, this will be uploaded to Blackboard under week one, right on top of this video lecture for 27 June lecture tutorial will be titled Video Lecture for 27 June Syllabus. 
right? And these are the three video lectures that you'll need to watch for Monday, June 17th. Again, do not forget to sign up for Alex because remember your Alex assignment, your first Alex assignment, if you go here, and then whenever you sign up for Alex, he'll let you know as well. The first Alex assignment is due midnight on June 29th. Keep that in mind. I repeat, your first Alex assignment will be due at midnight on June 29th. So as soon as you finish watching this video, you should have joined my course on Alex and start working on those prerequisite review topics, which focuses on your uh, maths to make sure that you have the prerequisite um, maths knowledge that you need to succeed in KM160. Right, and then I hope to see most of you, if not all of you, during office hours on this Tuesday, or yes, I think Tuesday, the first Tuesday after the semester starts.